Bob and Barn, it's good to be back with you. And uh, I don't know what happened to my guitar there on the first song, but whatever happened, it got worse on the second one. So I'm going to just take a minute and try to fix it up. If I had known there were going to be people here, I would have practiced it first. Texas out there for 10 days on what they call the Humanities Tour, and I got to play at two different colleges, and I played at a bunch of grade schools, and I played uh, at, at one of the cafes, and then uh, and the rest of the time I kept, they sent me to these assisted living homes and nursing homes to play for the old people, and I remember in those days I carried a cassette recorder with me, I love to hear old people sing, and and I was trying to learn music the old-fashioned way, you know. And uh, so I came into this one place, it was a public home in Dallas, and, and, uh, and I played the program and I asked the woman in charge if there were any uh, musicians living here, or former musicians. And she said, oh, you got to meet Ruben. And so she went and got Ruben. He didn't come to the program. But I knew when I saw him that he was a musician because it was 3.15 in the afternoon he was still in his bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just got up and he had to be a musician. <laughs> and, uh, and Ruben had one eye and she introduced me to him and he just nodded and he sat down at the piano and he made with his left hand he played those bass notes and those keys just rumbled and I clicked my recorder on and he turned over his shoulder and said to me, I bet you're so young you don't even know what prohibition was. And he didn't look like the kind of guy you wanted to argue with and I said, I have no idea, sir. He goes, well, let me tell you what prohibition was. He said, prohibition just meant it was illegal. Didn't mean anybody went without. <laughs> Got them deep, yellow, blue. 
Oh, sweet mama, daddy's got them deep, 